Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that loves to work with custom knife makers. And today, we're going to talk about my friend Mashu from Magnum Works and his knives and how we've teamed up, if you will, with my sheaths. But first, let's tell you guys one of these custom things I make. They're called sheaths. And we're back! Okay, hopefully you guys bought many, many sheaths. If not, buy a few more. Today, we're gonna talk about Matt's work, okay? This is my friend Matt from Instagram, at MagnumWorks. Check him out, at MagnumWorks, okay? Check him out, he's an awesome guy, veteran, loves his uh, veteran brothers, and Mashu and I have teamed up to give you suckers the finest in tater digging cutlery. And we're gonna get things started, I'm just gonna run through these really quick. This was like one of his first sheath orders with me. So I'm also showing Matt my work as well. Uh, he'll get these before he sees the video, but whatever, it's a nice video. So first knife I'm gonna show you guys is the Durden. And check out this tater digging some rich, but also very practical day to day. CPM 3V steel, nice premium materials. I love the neutral wasted handle here with the Anzo like pattern. It's not really an Anzo pattern, but how he cuts into the G10, very tastefully done. He seems to really have a good understanding when to leave something um, alone versus when to dig into it with the, uh, probably using a Dremel or something, but it looks great. Uh, fitment is flawless. There is nothing poking out. I mean, this guy's work is outstanding. Sharpening choil, nice leaf shaped blade. I believe it's a type of oxide coating on here. Um, you know, you got your torque hardware here. This is just outstanding. I'm really into this guy's work a lot. So I reached out to him on Instagram and said, Hey man, if you need a custom sheath maker, I'm your guy. And he said, I do, and you may be. So he sent me a couple of uh, Knerfleece. I made sheaths for those. He was happy with the work. This is really like the first order after that. So here's the sheath I made for the Durden in OD green and blood red in a pancake style with our uh, Chombat loop on here, as is tradition. And here's our retention. Whoa. Butter, no rattle, beautiful. This is gonna make somebody very, very happy. Now, how much does this uh, sucker cost? Well, how much do you think it costs? You guys know the knife industry, right? Stuff like this is not cheap, of course. American made, handmade, you know? Check out just like the file work for the jimping. Look at that. Just really freaking nice chamfered smartly. Really beautiful grind lines, a tip from hell. Just This is just on the Durden so far. I mean, all his work has a theme of that stuff. Okay, let's get into this. Here's the Deadfall Ringer, and this one is badass. This guy wanted a uh, molly attachment, and I think he's wearing this upside down on his vest. So there's that. Whoa, freaking badass. I believe this one's in S35VN, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, double-edged. You get them coming and going. This is my personal favorite of the Deadfall series. I He's making me one, but in a single edge, you know, because I want to put my thumb on the uh, spine to bear down. But I love the ring style on this, and I'm going to make it my new EDC. I think he's going to make it in orange and black. I'm really freaking pumped. Here's our hardware here. Just smartly done, G10. Real sharp as it gets to you. You know, nothing sticking out. Even like the, uh, the signet ring here, you know, has some like nice crown jimping, one inch ring, fits the mitts just perfectly. I got the medium large mitts here. This is just great. This is going to be like a really nice tater digging implement for some noble warrior out there. And I really, really love that one. Brings me to one that he uh, wanted made for himself. And this one he said had some sort of defect. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some sort of grind line or whatever. He didn't need an attachment on it, but it's got a gray blade. This is the Deadfall series. My personal favorite. I'm going to make one of these my EDC. And this has like a kind of like butt stop here. I don't know what you call it, um, but not a ring. There's the jimping there. This is freaking awesome in gray and black G10. If we can stay focused here for the love of God. There we go. And that's just from oil. The little discoloration you see there. Just a really beautiful 3.5 inch cutting edge. He just wanted a charbon fiber fold over, which is what we made our friend here. By the way, it came out pretty good. That's cool. Give him a little thumb ramp. He can loosen the retention if he wants just slightly, but... I think it's actually perfect. So there's that. And then here we go. The deuce. The deuce is so hardcore. Look at this. Two rings here. You index like so. This is going to be worn um, scout carry in the front like so. And which is the deuce as far as um, CPM 3V steel it says here. So he's using premium materials. Whoa. 
Freaking awesome, guys. Look at that blade. Look at the file work on the top. Look at this sucker. Grind lines. G10, perfectly added, out of the way. Feels like about three and a half ounces. I could be wrong about that, but it feels nice. And for two rings on this, with this jimping right here, you see that? This just locks into my mitts. I mean, rock solid. We're going for a ride. I can do whatever I gotta do with this and she's coming back home with me, you know? This girl's not staying at the bar. She's coming home with me, right? So that's what this is about. It's just really, really cool. You have just perfect, solid grip on this. And I absolutely love it. Retention on this one's a little stiffer. I had to make it so we don't want any wobble and this is gonna break in over time. And then finally, the big Luke, I think this is. I forget what it's called. I don't have the packaging in with me now. He wants me to make a sheath for it. I'm waiting on some material. So here's an example of his leather work, which is serviceable and really nice, by the way. But everybody's asking him for Kydex, so. That's where I come in, right? But check out this monster. What is this design? Who would come up with such a thing? We have, you know, real smart jimping on the top of the axe head here. And then my thumb wraps around here nicely. You can even wrap around a little bit further if you had to. We have some sort of demon etched onto the blade itself with file work at the bottom. Mashu's logo right here, you know, more file work and uh, some sort of Yapanazer uh, characters there, looks like. And then look at this beard, just perfect. Look at the edge. I mean, this thing's nasty. And then on the bottom here, you have this Tonto chisel, or the, not chisel, but you have this Tonto grind, which is just out of this world. I mean, if the knife was just literally that alone, I'd be interested, but it's not. I mean, look at the, look at the file work on the actual Tang itself. And it feels great in hand. And then on the back, we're all smooth. So it's just a classy, classy design, if you ask me. And although this could be dangerous to the user, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this is like for everybody. What I'm saying is once this sucker's in your hand, it's no longer dangerous to you. You're good. You got this thing good. And like, I would need some new training to figure out what I would want to do with this. But I think if you're cranky and you're strong of will, you'll figure it out. What a gorgeous implement, if nothing else for a collector's item, you know? Now, how much is this guy? Uh, you know, ask Matt. Okay, I'm sure you're gonna pay for it. It's not cheap stuff. Does any of this look cheap to you? No. And he's got me making cheese and he's all happy. So it's like, all that's gonna add up, but it's American made, veteran owned, skillfully done, beautiful, beautiful work, if you ask me. And I could not recommend Matt highly enough. Turns out he's actually a really great guy too. So on top of having awesome stuff, He's actually somebody I genuinely like as a human being. And how often do you find this combination of people that you do business with? Not very freaking often. So guys, I can't recommend it enough. Go bother Matt at Magnum Works on the Instagram, right? And then also, if you want custom cheese made for me, sign up on Subscribestar. Link's in the description, okay? If you sign up on Subscribestar for a dollar, you get 15% off your sheath orders. And that's gotta add up. I mean, I'm not gonna make any money off you guys. I just wanna feature your names on the screen. Speaking of which, let's feature our heroes of the channel right meow. And there they are. Those are the guys that are keeping this channel running. I do appreciate you all. I love you guys. Check out Matt at Magnum Works. And he's a very, very friendly, approachable guy. He answers every message. His customer service is freaking awesome. It really matters to him that you guys get the finest knives that he can make. He doesn't want scratches on his stuff. I mean, there's pressure on me not to screw this stuff up, you know? And I don't blame him. He's a great guy and he wants his customers really happy. Well, okay, so as his new sheath maker, I gotta do my part too. And I get that. So it's making me step up my game, which is actually good. I enjoy the challenge. All his knives are strange designs, as you can see. Like, in particular, this one was a challenge. How do you make a sheath for that? Well. I figured it out just like that okay it's actually really nice so he's worked with me he's been very very friendly he's taking care of your boy so everybody in the comments if nothing else tell matt how nice his work is it makes a knife maker feel really good to hear that this is knife maker spotlight like three or something like that it's right in the beginning you guys that make knives don't be shy send your work in you know and if it's anything even close to this holy cow what a glowing review you're gonna get because this is just fine fine work monomies i mean how cool is that? This is locked in my hand. This is going nowhere, man. Nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. That's right. So, 
Can't recommend it enough. I mean, you have to respect these blades. You really don't want to, you know, put one of these through your hand, resheathing. So go slow, be safe, but more importantly, enjoy this piece of art you get to wear. And that will defend you. So anyway, enough gushing. I love his stuff. You're going to see his stuff on the channel all the time. When he sends me new stuff, I'm going to make a video. New stuff's coming in this week. Expect to see a lot of Magnum works on this channel. Check him out on Instagram. His pictures of his stuff is awesome. Check out Subscribestar. Watch next week. Now go away.